Brandon Walter with an ERA of 956. Despite your bullpen's best efforts, yes. Um we need to we need to score runs. We lost yesterday to the Red Sox 2-1. Uh Nick Sandlin sucks. It's just we need to figure it out. Looking into the uh looking ahead to the A's and we have a Logan Allen against Spencer Strider on Friday. Especially because we're not playing this game tomorrow. This game will most likely be a sim, depending on what time I go live because of the NFL draft. Um, we got Spencer Strider Friday against Logan Allen, then we have Tanner Bybee against Max Freed on Saturday. And then Sunday, Cookie against Chris Sale. Oh. Oh, my. Um, and going forward, Houston... We don't see who we don't know who we'll be seeing against Houston yet, quite yet. It's gonna be Brian Riquillo's Rick last last chance for a little while, most likely. He needs to do something here. We have Tristan McKenzie, his ERA of two two five against Brandon Walters, ERA of nine five six. Did we wear in real life today? White and Reds. Kenzie Kwan. Oh, Andres Jimenez, I'm sorry. J-Ram DH'd. Ooh. J-Ram played third. Gabriel Arias had another day off. In favor of Esteban Floreal again. Oh, no, and Floreal DH'd. You're bringing in Bo Naylor again. Please tell me we got Josh. Oh, thank you. We got Quan, Andres Jimenez, J Ram, Josh Naylor. Well, Loriano gets set for Will Brennan, who is five, Tyler Freeman six, Floreal DHing seven, O Naylor is eight, Keo is nine, and he's already getting tired again. Um, try that. I don't know. We'll change it up a little bit. Oh. Let's let's try this. Let's get to let's get to progressive field. Just pray something happens. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Austin, where's that? All right, first pitch coming up. Today's starting pitcher, Tristan McKenzie. What do you have on him? Yeah, he McKenzie's had a good season, 3-0. He pitched well enough to get the win. 2 ERA, 31 strikeouts. Not a great strikeout pitcher. Like uh, Cookie and Bieber have been. <laughs> but really, other than Cookie and Bieber, no one's been great. I mean, we're... Darren Duran. McKenzie, three-pitch pitcher, fastball slider, 12-6 curve. And we're for strike. Yo, one to Duran. Leave. Did have a couple hits yesterday. Kicks and deals. That misses. Oh. Misses. Go back to that fastball in. Popped up. Popped up. Nailer. Caught. As he destroys the bat. 
and one away. Grissom, <laughs> this Red Sox team is, they're just so bad. And Grissom, two, 289, and then McGuire at 246, Trevor Story, 267. I mean, they got guys who could be good, but they got guys who just aren't good, which is why it's so frustrating that we lost last night. Grissom we can't, we can't lose to these bad teams. Grissom has three home runs, tied second on the Red Sox. And 0-2. Breaking the inside. 1-2. Gotta try and just get ground balls. That misses inside. Well, he fouls it off, I should say. One, two again. That one Makes it two, two. And it's two and two. And he goes hacking at a fastball, and that is the first strikeout for Tristan McKenzie. Now Masataka Yoshida, who's batting 238. He could be good. Chased outside the zone. At the play, Masataka Yoshida. Ball, no and we want to get him out because of who the four hole hitter is. We don't want anybody on base for Devers. And into the camera. Well, as Josh Naylor does a little for funsies dive. Next offering is in Thanks, Alp. One two to get Yoshida out. Out off into the other camera well. We have balls in both camera wells now. One, two again. And this is fouled off. This is going to be pitch six of the AB. An issue we have had with a lot of our pitchers. And we do finally sit down Yoshida. Seven. And now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. It's the issue we have with a lot of our pitchers is we just can't put anybody away, whether it be ground out, fly out. We have Brandon Walter here who's 0-3, pitched 16 innings this season and four appearances. As an ERA of 9.56 and is only here because of some injuries. Rookie, 13 strikeouts. Stepping and now we have Stephen Kwan, your two-time gold glover, a winner, a defending, and 258. Walter has a four-seamer changeup slider and two-seamer, I believe. We saw him last week. And first pitch swinging right at the right fielder. Away. Saying you were looking at a really young lineup here, so no ah. much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to we the We got some averages stage. that are up there the because we haven't seen some of these guys players. as much. I mean, these players, uh, Florial at 419, we haven't seen. Josh Naylor is one of the only ones that's like, okay, we've seen him a good bit. Andres Jimenez, we've seen a bit. And fastball. Outside. Red Sox are something or nine and fifteen in that two seamer is ripped foul. And that two seamer is his fourth pitch. One one. And there's a fly ball. Slider. Hit. Wall and Jimenez going for two. Yes. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Good swing and Unfortunately, <laughs> bounced right to him, so it made the double a little closer. So, man aboard, and up next for and we have the very dangerous Jose Ramirez. It was yesterday, <laughs> and a change up that we fouled off into the camera well. A lot of balls going to that camera, into those camera wells already. It's the third one, the old one. Fouled the four seamer off just a little late. Apparently good timing, but I don't know if I buy that. Go to J Ram 0 for 3 with a walk yesterday in our losing effort. Foul ball 
Slider early on fouled off over to Quicken Loans Arena over there. The 0-2. To the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not Change up, can fouled off. Base hit. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy is the fifth pitch of the at bat. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. One two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Good pitch. Now we have Josh Naylor. Only run of the game. Only RBI of the game came from Naylor. This is lifted in the center, and will be caught by Duran. Uh, we're getting to a point where our uh, bottom of the lineup guys are going to have to get hits. And now we see Rafael Devers, Casas, and Valdez here top of the second. And we're back. Here's the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Devers, two home runs on the season. He's batting 205. Contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And he fouls the first pitch off. This is a guy we don't really want to give a lot of fastballs to. Is I'm about to give him one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that. Oh! Then, if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very good. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the This misses. One, two. That's fouled off, and here we go. The one, two. Go it fishing for that one and the third K for the, for Tristan McKenzie. And now we have Tristan Casas, who's a lot of blue zones. That misses. One. The 1-0. One -oh. Now it's 2-0. There's a strike on Nothing's been in the zone here. No score. Two one to Casas. Right side. over to Naylor. Naylor runs over. A very slow Casas does not get there. And out number two. Now we have Emmanuel Valdez. And in two forty two. And well, mostly cold zones for this band too. He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. <laughs> Swings too late on a fastball. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty late. <laughs> yeah, that's late. Now this is where I ask, how did we lose to this team yesterday? <laughs> Yo, one to Valdez. Fouled off into the dugout on a hard line, makes it 0 2. Just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And strike out four. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Tristan McKenzie. The bottom of the second. No score. We're getting what the hell was that? Back here in Cleveland. Now we have Will Brennan, right who four oh six, had four home runs. We're, we haven't seen him a lot, which is why he's at that four oh six. But Walter, back to work. Walter. That one oh. drifts inside. Inside. And then an eighth round pick by the Cleveland Guardians back in twenty nineteen. Foul that off. One one. Swing and foul back. That's out of play. Makes it one two. The why to kick the pitch. And we're very early on the two seamer. And we foul that off. Be the fifth pitch of the AB from Walter. And that one, bottom of the zone, fought off, makes it 1-2 still. 
you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That was a really nice pitch call for that put away slider right there. You look at the sequence in that at bat. Now Tyler Freeman, who's down to 360. It's really tough to recognize and fight off a two Lifted in the left field, very high, not very deep. And that's out number two very quickly. Now we have Bo Naylor batting seventh out of eight. 304, four home runs. A lot of cold zones and called strike first round pick in 2018 by the Cleveland Guardians. Which 20 for Walter. Swing and a miss. Nice change. Good change up. No ball. Two strikes. The 0 2. Check swing. We held up barely. Eric Summers go with the call. The wind and the pitch. And grounded over to first. Foul. One, two. Lifted. Foul. However, at least you see some pitches off Walter. Two, two. We're all is on deck if we get on base here with Bo Naylor. Poked into right center, but oh, makes the by O'Neill. We'll move to the third. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now Tyler O'Neill. Gold glove winner in 2020 and 2021. The right hander back to work. O'Neill foul tip into the glove. This that's what it sounded like. He makes it 0 2. And 03 is the both teams forgot how to hit. And now we have Reese McGuire, who he was a pain in the ass yesterday. One of the better hitters, and well, he's not going to strike out at least. Is J Ram underneath it? Makes the catch. <laughs> Without really having to leave the base. And now we have Trevor Story. Hard foul. Backwards. Makes it a one. Scoring runs isn't happening. No, no, it is not here. So far. Come on, Ump. Be consistent at least. Be consistently bad. Makes it one, two. Two two. The two two. Cut on a miss, struck him out. Yep. Red Sox go one two three. Red Sox go one two three. Um, we have one hit in the game. Scoreless. How you doing, Pat? There's one combined hit in this game. As well, everybody sucks. Jordan, I want my offense back, and we have Estevan Floreal batting 419 because, well, we haven't seen him a lot. And eighth. Hit hard, but foul. Come on. Ah, Floreal has the second best average, but that's probably that's gonna slowly go down. How you doing, Ash? Lifted, please, please. Going out to right, please. Makes the catch. And there's one down. One down and why am I bad? I wish I could answer that. And speaking of bad, Brian Rakio, who somehow has an average of two forty one with four home runs. In the air out to center. Well, that average is gonna go down as he pokes that out to center. Now the left fielder. And now Stephen Kwan. Please. That one gets down. A base hit. And that extends the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing <laughs> that we can see already is bad. Luther in the center. 
extended period of time. <laughs> Blooper in the center. Contact rate and in the center. Andreas Jimenez. Being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard That's enough to dump you see her inside. the center fielder. Andres Jimenez came from Venezuela, but now he went to the Mets before he came to the Guardians. That's ripped ripped. Right, down the line. right field is Rips caught. Nice running, grab. running grab by O'Neal, and that ends the third, and we have Jaron Duran who popped up to the catcher. Like one. Hill like one. To a kill. Row is in time and Duran's down. Now Vaughn Grissom, who's 0 for 5. The best hitter on this team is 0 for 5. This series. And another one fouled off. Fourth inning underway, no score. Hill one. God damn it. One on one. One one. There's some looks at it. Makes it one two. One ball, two strikes. Please, for my sanity, do not foul this off. Thank you. And strike out to Grissom again. Now we have Masataka Yoshida. Remember how earlier I said McKenzie wasn't really getting strikeouts? I mean, he. Now he had 31 to start. This is probably one of our better games. Well, it's felt like it until now. 2-0. 0-2. 2-0 to Yoshida. I had it right the first time. Blame the kitchen mixer. I will forever blame kitchen. I might blame kitchen mixer the rest of the season. 2-2. And we're going to be at pitch 48, 49. Makes it pitch 50, full count. Oh, four. Ah. Two out walk. And that brings up the dangerous Rafael Devers. Never really spent eight years with Boston. Entire career. Fouled that off. That was a mistake. Go to. Yes, it's. Fouled off. Bo Naylor couldn't handle it. Mostly because it about hit him in the balls. And one, two again. Fouled off again. That was a oops. Completely missed the, uh, the meter. <laughs> Not wrong. As we go to the bottom of the fourth, each team has had, well, well, we've had two base runners. Red Sox have had one because oops. Now we have J-Ram who struck out in the first. 31 pitches for Brandon Walter. Oh my god, and that's into the camera well. Ball four into the camera well. They ram tied first in the American League with 12 home runs. And that's foul. We've only seen change up so far. Oh, there's a fastball. Go to. Thank you, J Ram. The O2, J Ram finally remembers how to hit a baseball. And he hits it a long way out to left field over the wall. Where it's Quick and Loans Arena. And that is his 13th of the season. We take a 1 0 lead. Oh, thank you. Now, we have Josh Naylor coming up, who is dangerous. Aram hit that ball hard. 
the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's it was exactly at 430, right over to the home run porch. And now it's Josh Naylor. Change up pretty much right in the middle of the zone. Fought and off. fastball fought off foul. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. Yo, one. Oh, to right center, caught though. I have to right center, just to right field. Caught by O'Neill. Or Brennan, who's one for five this series, 0 for one today. Get on base, Will. <laughs> Why am I swinging? Yo, one. And that drops in for a strike. Damn it. I guess it's 0 2, Brennan. Christ. Well, he's really good hitting the base. Okay. <laughs> now we have Tyler Freeman. This is another just get on base, Tyler. Come on, get get down, get down ball. It does get down, and Freeman's gonna be on base. Makes it two out base runner. Now we have Bo Nailer. Bo could do something. Had a handful of home runs this season, and. <laughs> Or he's gonna beam it off of fucking Brandon Walter and gets the out. Jaram solo shot. You're watching. Back here in Cleveland, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Gives us a 1 0 lead. Now we have Tristan Casas. The pitch. Pitch is in the zone. You know, these Casas, one for three with a single yesterday. Up oh, Brennan underneath it. Brendan Brennan finding it. Caught. Makes it the first out. Two pitch out there. We needed that, and now we have Manuel Valdez. Now here's the Red Sox DH. Oh, okay. That was the 60th pitch for Tristan McKenzie. <laughs> okay, that's fair. One, two. Popped up. Ramirez over into foul territory by the camera well. The camera well a lot here. Now we have Tyler O'Neill who just, well, caught the ball to end fourth like one it's old one the offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter he's doing his thing out there they're going to have to push him at some point and make him work a little bit harder slider misses can't get him swing it My life flashed before my eyes. Go <laughs> one, two, three. Mackenzie throws fire, not entirely. We have Florial, Rukio, and Quan. Now Florial, who I just want to get on base. Savon Florial. And so much for that. First pitch swinging and rounded over to short and Casas. It gets it in time and Elliot Rukio, who's Blew out in the fifth, or not the fifth, about to fly out here in the fifth, most likely. And first off, <laughs> hard foul out of the stadium. <laughs> you and I got a chance to broadcast super game early on that. No one to Rikio. Did such a great job. I felt like that's fouled off. Rikio's hitting the ball hard. All star game, a face of one of the players playing in the game. But the city overall supported the event really well. And makes it 1 2. Fastball missed. In the air to right center. And caught by Duran. Two down. Now we have Kwan. And the show that was put on between Vladimir and Curl foul. And foul. 
Goal one to Kwan. Slider got me. Ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left handed hitter to track. Yeah, like I said, I was just going to go with something like that had the draft order in it, but you're making something. Yeah, something pretty generic. Fell off a slider. Go to again. And he hits a ground ball, ground ball to second. And that's the out. And that, is that, that ends the sit fifth. And now we have Reese McGuire, the 8 9 1 hitters. For the Red Sox coming up. These hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. Her ball in the dirt. One one. Popped up J Ram. Over by the camera well, by the dugout. Makes the grab. We have Trevor Story who struck out in the third. Every story could hurt me. One one. Fouled off. The one two. Ten strikeouts for Tristan McKenzie. And now we have Jaron Duran. Let's get out of this inning and then we'll probably move on from Tristan McKenzie. His. <laughs> trying to break up a no hitter with a bunt. Fuck you. We hit him. We see Vaughn Grissom. That ends the frame. So he's through six no hit innings now. It's the We're not gonna be trotting out uh, unless we get some runs here. Probably not gonna be trotting much out. Oof, very early on the fastball over to Casas. A Ram, who had a home run in two innings ago. Responsible for the only runs they scored. Only run. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball. So Let's get. Can't believe I'm doing this. Hunter Gaddis. So far in this one. They ran one for two with a home run. All right, Siggy. And jump inside. Back when this ballpark ball, opened, no 1994, strike. one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know they came off. Jr. Makes it one one. First triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Uh, give me a hint. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Good change up. Murray, no doubt. Bam. Base is empty. One, one away. two. Here, the second game of the series. Yeah, Hard foul. Just early on it. And That's another ball. Pass ball inside. Makes it 2 2. 3 2. Now. Three two. Josh Naylor up next. Two flyouts on the day for him. 60th pitch for Walter. Protecting against the fastball, fouled off. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's gonna Eighth pitch. Change speeds a little bit. Try to move it around. Create just a little. Lifted the left field. Not going to be deep enough. He's there. He's got it. And there are two outs. So next. Now, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. Naylor. That's in there. Strike one. 
And they're leading in slugging percentage, 861. Hard early, though, so it's a foul. Makes it 2 That one misses. Fastball fouled off. Only seen fastballs here from Walter. Oh, there it is, too. The Guardians go down. Back here in Cleveland. Here's the left. Let's see, Yoshida. Yoshida. McKenzie, back to work. Break Strike one. one. For a strike. Well, timing is the key to great hitting, and right now that door is still locked. They haven't been able to figure out pitch sequences, oh. and it's just misses, and well, McKenzie's starting to get tired. Looking to get one, the one. tying run on base. Except one two. Strike two. One two to count. Bowed off. And he deals. Got him looking for the strikeout. Gets Yoshida looking for the strikeout. We have Rafael Devers. Devers at the plate. He's over two of the pair of strikeouts. How's that off? This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent. That's fouled the off. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Fuck, fouled off. If we can get through Devers. Down to a one run lead here the top half of inning number seven. God damn it. It stays alive. Oh, you got away with a mistake right there. We can get through Devers. Got him again. Frozen with a backdoor slider. Well, he's going to have some thinking. Kenzie dealing today. This one was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way to be more competitive up there at the plate. Casas stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. This is low. Go to Casas. And there's a ball. Oh. Oh. Really good discipline. A 2 0 count. The opportunity to tie up the ball game with Rio. And it was close, but not to his liking. It's a good take. Rounded hard to Rakeo. The throw will be in time. That's going to have to do it for Kristen McKenzie. We're back in a new and we see Brennan Bernandino with a ERA of 818. We're going to be bringing in Hunter Gaddis. Actually, we might lifted hard curveball from Bernardino. Foul. Sinker curveball four seamer. Bernardino, we saw yesterday. He's already tired. The only one to Brennan. Curveball not close. Yep. Get Scott Barlow ready too. It hard. If it gets down, it will be extra bases for Will Brennan as he gets a stand up double. Beautiful. Now we have Tyler Freeman. Rounded. Yes. We will not score a run on that. First and third. Now, Bo Naylor. Man who could do some good, some damage on occasion. Bernardino. Base hit for Bo Naylor, and that scores a run. And Bernardino's already gone. Josh Winkowski. He already had 237. He's going to try and hold us. So we have Floreal and Rakio up. 
Sinker, cutter, slider, circle change, four seamer for Winkowski. Right. Foul. Let's, at this point, we just got to try and keep this moving. One. And we do as base hit. My hand was off the controller. It's a good thing. And now we have Brian Riquillo, who could do something to be a hero. Bases loaded for Winkowski. Riquillo! Riquillo gets a hit! <laughs> he drives in a run! Runners held at third, so we take a 3-0 lead. Big RBI for Brian Riquillo. Ron. Well, that's going to be a liner, and that's going to be one out. Andres Jimenez, one for three. Cutter, stop, chop, foul. This ball just gets out of the infield. And no. Oh my god, what a play. So two runs on five hits. And they get out of the jam, and we're going to be bringing in big Hunter Gaddis. Big hair, big beard, big man, Hunter Gaddis. On our gas, four seamer slider, circle change, curveball cutter. That nothing's touching the zone. That's good. That's a good. That's what we want, right? <laughs> that is not where I wanted that. Oh. Now we have Emmanuel Valdez. And this lineup is still hitless as we begin the eighth. Six outs away. Ron facing it. Gonna get it as he runs into foul territory. Great catch by Stephen Kwan showing why he's a gold glover. Now we have Tyler O'Neill. And a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Nope. Misses. 22,542 here in attendance. 1 0. Not even close. Makes it 2 0. Big swing and a miss. 1 2. The 2 1. Makes it 2 2. Swings through that one for strike two. That's this is three two. The Red Sox trailing by three. The Sox down three. That's fouled off. And it remains a full count. Three two. Here comes. We almost screwed up, and now we have Reese McGuire. A three. A one. That's fouled off. Makes it 1-1. One, one. Righty delivers. In the zone, one and two. Rounded over to Naylor. Naylor steps on the bag. That ends the inning. Home half of the eighth. And the Red Sox nothing. Rio. Now we have Justin Slayton, who is an area 409. 
He's pitching on two days rest. Pitching on two days rest. As we have Jose Ramirez who can well break this open. Slayton four seamer slider two seamer. No, not close. Oh no. Goodbye. Touch them all, baseball man, as Shambi says. That ball never had a prayer coming back. And J Ram turns this game on its head as the Marlins, if anyone didn't see that, are losing 12 over the Braves. That's what we get to see in a couple days. J Ram, uh, well, after being kind of bad for a little bit, two home runs here. As Slayton, uh, well, did exactly what if you're the Red Sox, you don't want to see. That one doesn't go as far as J Ram's first one. This one only goes 393 and leaves Josh only at 100 Naylor miles an hour. Josh Naylor now 0 for 3. Fly ball, mm, down, the line. Fly ball down the line, foul. And that's a foul ball. Netting. Two seamer was. We we're just early on it. <laughs> Two seamer again, even earlier on it. Ninety-one. Right Go to. Lifted into right center. This is gonna be caught. O'Neill, one away. As that's gonna be 0 for four day for Nail. Will Brandon with a double and a run earlier. <laughs> Good slider. Good slider. Oh one. From Slayton. And gonna be a base hit. Same spot. I could tell it was the slider coming through that time. We have Tyler Freeman. Had a hit earlier. Swing. Gonna be base hit. Could be. Yes, well, at least gets to third. Our scoring position for Bo Naylor here. It was one for three with a single earlier. Those are the bases. Now it's going to score a run. We're at 5-0. Now we have Esteban Florian. Oh, well, and we see Kenley Jansen. What? Emily Jansen, cutter, two seamer slider. It's Floreal. We're up 5 0. I have no idea why we're seeing Kenley Jansen. That's weird. <laughs> that slider is just awful. That slider is mean. Yo, one. I want to score some runs. Yeah. Belted hard. Deep. O'Neill going back. Not deep enough. Out at the track. And now we have Trevor Story. And the bid for history is gone. And the no hitter is gone. So they finally get their first hit in this one, and that puts an end to the combined no hitter bid. Yeah, and that combined no no doesn't have the same. Oh, that bunted him. And that's now twice he's been hit. That, that was intentional for trying to bunt to break up a no hitter. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. There's a swing. No two Grissom. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way One, two to Grissom. The baseball and put it in play. Fouls that off Foul. to the left, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Also Outs foul. Still one and two. Still one two. First and second, no outs. Here are the top of the ninth. That's towards center. Freeman. From center, yeah, Freeman. And it's caught for the out. There's a little offline, one away. 
Now Yoshida. Strike one. Oh, wow. In this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the one. Nice job right there. Well, that's going to drive in a run. Freeman not going to be able to cut down to Rand. And we do give up a run. Not off and um well yeah sit down Barlow and do something I didn't really want to do which is warm up class A. Or two to Devers. Rafael Devers gets on. We're gonna be bringing class A in for a two out sit two out opportunity. Play Josh Naylor. What can't he do? Devers, the line out, tag out, double play, game, set, match. Addis gets a save, his third save. You give up two hits, run. Uh, the run was kind of just to hit Jaron Duran for. Breaking a rule, breaking an unwritten rule, trying to bunt for a fucking break up a no hitter. Hunter Gaddis does things. Josh Naylor does things. Right, Naylor. How close was this ball to being on the ground? This would have been a base hit, most likely. <laughs> Josh Naylor. What is... What can't he do? <laughs> Just barely getting the foot of Yoshida. Okay, do we want big man Josh Naylor or do we want Hunter Gaddis as our thumbnail? Who do we want as our thumbnail? Jordan, you can pick. I think I know who Jordan's gonna pick. Pretty sure I know who Jordan's gonna pick. It's gonna Jordan's gonna pick Gaddis. Hopefully Jordan didn't just get thrown in ad hell. Jordan wants Brian Riccio. Are you? Okay. Damn. We'll at least give it the thing that Riccio did good and get, get in his RBI. Verkeo did a thing. J Ram two for two with two home runs. Two hit game is the uh, elusive. We've come close a couple to a couple times, a couple times this week actually.
Um, in the past couple of days, we had to leave this game, if I remember correctly, it was a one-hit game. No. This. This was a one-hit game in which it was the home run by Tyler Soderstrom off of uh, Dane Bieber. That was a one-hit game, and then this game, two-hit game with these those pitchers. Fuck. Brandon Walters ERA went down to a seven three six. Brandino's went up. The Red Sox did not ground into a well. They couldn't ground into a double play because. I only had two hits and they were both in the ninth. Trevor, Trevor Story and Masataka Yoshida. We go to 20 and 5. Who knows what the sim will do tomorrow? Nope. Well, it's now really time. We're going to save one more time. It is now... Oh, God. This AL Central, it's always been the AL Comedy Central, but it might not be this year. The Twins at... 7 and 17, the Tigers at 16 and 9, the Royals at 13 and 12, just kind of hanging out. And then, I mean, the White Sox are terrible. But, like, we're going to have competition. When's our next division game? Against the Tigers. Three against the Tigers. Beginning of May, May 6, 7, 8. Three against, four against the White Sox May at Chicago, May 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's all we have for oh no three against the twins at home. So we have two of the three, of t the two best, um, AL Central teams in May, in Detroit and the Twins. And then one of the worst teams in baseball, which I think might be the worst team in baseball. Four and twenty-one. Oh, the Rockies are also four and twenty-one. Nice. Save one more time for good measure. We did what we needed to. Take it. <laughs> 